All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach, but it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus. Now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. There he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot Looks of like he's just stalling a little bit. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, huge right hand. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. So 41 total strikes and counting have now landed for Brian T. City Ortega. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. To watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And that one certainly found the target. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ortega's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, nice. oh. And now his opponent in a full trap. Beautiful level change. Makes it think you're going low and from right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, huge right hand. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Back to the feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. There's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Them man moves misleading. Choco, check if he's breathing. Nah, no, Jeff, I don't think he's breathing. Uh. Gully bot, them weave, man, lean. Uh. Last man that tried, they're freaking. Uh.
don't talk too much, no more speaking. Man, pre man, and my man still scheming. No threats to protect my cleaners, creep them, beat it, catch man sleeping. So the beefing thing's not needed, but I had big, big man turn Jesus. Everybody takes shots at me. I've got 101 ops on me, or a response on obviously. Got a season to blossom trees. Like this man's like a fence. Yeah. My aim is so dangerous. Goodness gracious me. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really so Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, no! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Right punches there. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for Brian T. City Ortega. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big elbow. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like Arizona. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus, man. Come together, man. You just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh man, it ain't to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And that relationship between Brian Ortega and James. Lee. Oh! Knee to the body. He's hurt. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, straight right. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost. Three, three, relax. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Listen. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, let's get to round two. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, oh, right off the cut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Jab hurt him a little bit. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in box class, hands up, chin down. Ortega's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big punch land. Ooh. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great time on that double leg. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so... Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And he's out. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, huge block. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Effective oh. punch there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moments. Go finish his fight. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put... Great round, bud. Relax. Take a deep breath and listen. You are outstriking this guy. He's... You ready? You ready? Fight. Third round underway. Let's go, well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick... see it. That is it. He got it. Oh, oh. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee E for being as well as stop for this contest. At 59 seconds of round number three. 